my animatronic Haunted Mansion Raven is done. This is the bird uh, build class that I took on uh, Friday, a week ago Friday, at the uh, Garner Holt. Uh, through his education through imagination we had our uh, yearly uh, lighting convention over there so this is the booklet that comes in the the kit has everything in here even has paint brushes uh, everything uh, you need and uh, you just have a step-by-step -step booklet here uh, the first thing we have to do is do a concept art well mine was a raven so <laughs> it's all black uh, but a lot of people in the class were doing uh, parrots um, and uh, multicolor and painting the wings and painting the fur. They do give you fur, which looks like this. It's white and then uh, all kinds of paint and you uh, had to water it down and paint and then brush it all in. But I just wasn't really happy how that came out. I mean, it's fine, but I wasn't, wasn't uh, too happy with that. And then uh, my friend JR over at Matos, uh, um, designs uh, he went out at lunchtime and got this black fur from uh, Michaels and he didn't need the whole thing so he let me take home what he didn't use and what a I mean it was just awesome so I just saved the patterns that I had from uh, from the class which are here I mean these come in a one sheet and you have to cut the patterns out but what's real, really cool is when you get to finish the bird it just shows you right here where where the patterns, they're, they're color coordinated, the green and the orange and, and all the different colors. And uh, you just hit this uh, QR code, it takes you to a YouTube video. So I just scanned that after I got home and I recut all these uh, patterns out of the, uh, the, the, the new fur here. And then I just watched the video and just used my uh, black hot glue and I hot glued everything down and uh, it just came out so nice. And then what I did is, all the um, spots that because where the head turned and and where this this top part snapped in there was some little gaps and airspace in there so uh, what I did was I just took some some uh, super glue here and then I took this uh, this, this uh, fur here and I just pulled a bunch of little pieces and made a bunch of little fluff I guess you call it and then I just put some dabs of the glue made sure I, I did not glue the head from turning and then I just went and dabbed it all in and filled in all the gaps with this. I did the same thing back here before I, uh, after I put the feathers in. So the bird comes with uh, five holes in the back to accommodate some tail feathers like this. I had to drill the holes bigger to accommodate these. These were thicker than I guess usual. So uh, I drilled those out uh, this size and then I put it and then I just use again. I just use my uh, my black hot glue. And I just put a little dab in there, put all the feathers in there. Of course, that's when this part, this top part is, is off with the wings. This whole part comes off and then you have, you have access underneath. Once I was all done, I clipped all, all the excess parts sticking out and then just put another dab of hot glue on the inside just to kind of lock them all in. And then I took the same, uh, the same fluff here, put some little, little um, crazy glue and just kind of like filled in where there was a little shelf here where, where you saw the fur ended and then the feathers went in. So uh, there it is. I also took all the wires, which look like this, all these different colors. And uh, I just took this, uh, this wire loom. Here's a little close up uh, cut piece here. And uh, you just, it's really cool. You just go ahead and it opens up. I believe this one was uh, three eighths, I believe. Uh, there's different sizes. I can verify that, but you just open it up and then you just wrap all your wires in there. So it's all clean. So I'm not going to keep this, this, this whole box, the kit, everything comes, everything comes in uh, with you. The patterns, the, they even give you little cute little scissors and uh, uh, paint brushes and uh, everything. And then, then there's this whole, whole step-by-step -step booklet that we just went through and, you know, servo placements and, and then bending, Bending the uh, the wire pieces, um, you know, the, you know which which controls there, and then in, they even give you an actual size so you can just bend, follow your bends for all your servo connections. So it's really detailed, but in the end, that's pretty much you know you're going to decorate your bird. A lot of people did this. Like I said, there were holes up here for feathers, which I didn't use because uh, ravens don't have that. I only use the holes in the back to put these feathers back here, and. Uh, 
And then when you're all done, you decorate your base, and they even give you this little piece, this uh, thatch material to, uh, after you put your circuit board and everything to cover it all up. So uh, I'm not gonna do this. Uh, this is gonna go on my uh, Doom Buggy mobility scooter, because you know, gotta have the Haunted Mansion Raven for my Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy. So uh, I, uh, I'm going to grab, if, if I can't get one of the, I'm gonna reach out to, to uh, Garner Holt uh, Productions and see if they'll sell me just this little perch right here. And I'm gonna make a hole and have just this part sticking up and just have the bird sitting right there. And uh, he'd be good to go. And then I'll just run, I'll another, run another hole to run all the wires for the, uh, the circuit board, which I will, I'll probably put it into like a little plastic uh, uh, container to protect all the electronics. And then I'm going to, you know, hide it inside the, uh, be behind the fabric in my doom buggy. So there it is. So you, uh, I don't know if you saw the earlier videos uh, when I came home, because um, I didn't want to use the, the, the fur that it came with. I wanted to do it, take my time and do it. And then um, my daughter brought up, said, Dad, do you know that the, the raven has red uh, LED eyes? I said, Oh, I didn't know that. I looked it up, and sure enough, uh, it has red light, light up eyes. So a bird came apart. And in, uh, in the earlier videos, I showed you how I did that. These are five millimeter red LEDs. I use these little um, LED holders. Uh, little, they just snap in. So this is a 1764 drill, and uh, I drilled into the little piece. I had to actually cut it. But I showed all that in the earlier videos, so I'm just doing a little recap. And then, and then I just fed the LED in that way, and it fed in really nice. And then I had to make some cuts so I can get it centered, but there it is. So once I did that, finished all the bird, I was happy with it. Then it was time to program the bird. I had to go uh, get some uh, bird sounds and some ambient background music. So on the circuit board here, this this uh, SD card is all your controls. And uh, you're gonna set your servo limits and all that. There's a whole video, again, a YouTube video you can look up, shows you how to uh, program this SD card, put your servo limits, what, uh, what servo numbers are, are you doing what. Um, <clears throat> this SD card is a MP3 player. You, these will take MP3 uh, files for ambient sound and the, uh, uh, so this has two tracks on it. You're gonna number them 0001, ambient, or whatever you wanna call it. And the other, ones, the other one I, I called it 0002, uh, Raven Sounds. And I just, I just went online and I found some Raven Sounds and I brought it into Audacity, uh, which is a free program. And I just <clears throat> cut all the, different, all the different sounds and the crows and the, uh, that I wanted to get from the, uh, the bird. And then once I was happy with that, and my ambient sound is actually the Haunted Mansion uh, background uh, uh, sound, so that's my ambient sound. And then my, uh, and then I just have the bird uh, crowing. But what's really cool that I discovered from watching the videos, if you put your, um, your beak on servo number six and change it in the program, you can turn on automatic jaw it will sense sound. So every time I got, a, got heard a caw, it automatically controlled the, the, the beak, which saved a lot of programming. So what I did is I, I, I went in there and you have to put this uh, in there and watch the video. It'll tell you what to do, turn it on. And then uh, what I did was uh, you take this, this is the, this all comes in your kit. So you get this uh, control board, you get this circuit board and you, you just, when you're ready to program it and test it, you would just plug this in here. And uh, once it's all plugged in and turned on, you see here these lights, these, all these, these uh, lights light up. You're gonna hit the record like that. It's gonna turn red and it's gonna uh, find that file. It's gonna start crowing, doing its thing, have the ambient. And then you just remember what numbers you're, like this one was my head turn and this was the bird bobbing up and down and then Number six, which is this one, was the, was the uh, beak. But when you turn on the auto beak, it disengages this and it automatically caws. And it, 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 it worked out really good, which I'll show you. So when you're all done programming it, you hit record again, it turns it off, and then you hit, and then all you gotta do is just hit play. So let me show you how it came out.
So I'm just going to hit play and watch. You can hear the, the ambient. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, that's the background. Now watch, I hit play. So all I did was, while it was in the record, I, I would turn the head once in a while. I would, I would bob the body up and down. And then the, the, the crowing was automatically done, which was awesome. Saves figuring out when to open the beak, which is really cool. But this is going to be my program on the back of my uh, Honda Mansion Doom Buggy Mobility Scooter. So I think the, with the eyes and everything, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with this.